In 2018, 33 people were killed in a boat accident on Lake Victoria. Two years later, then State Minister for Transport, Joy Kawasi, presented a report to Parliament on what could have caused the MV Templar tragedy. The report suggested several solutions to avert water transport accidents, and they included, among others, government to enact a law on the inland water transport, Ministry of Transport to identify safety issues on boats, set up a maritime training institute to ensure that vessel operators are equipped with my to ensure that vessel operators are equipped with marine knowledge, to ensure safety for the passengers they transport, and work with security and local agencies to stop unqualified operators to these boats and vessels. Vessels transporting more than 12 people to have a communication system and life-saving appliances. Government would acquire rapid response equipment for search and rescue including oil spill clean-up equipment. Ministry of Transport was supposed to address issues of counterfeit jackets and making them affordable to users, among others. In the wee hours of Wednesday, a boat that was aided for Kasen in Entebbe Wakiso district capsized and 20 people appeared dead. Police say three bodies have so far been recovered. Members of parliament from Kalangala, Chamusu and Buvuma counties have accused government of not doing enough to ensure water transport safety. Chamuswa uh, constituents, Chamuswa constituents has four sub-counties and they are all in the waters. But the government, all it has done is to cater for B B Bujumba constituents, Bugala Island, which is only one island out of the 84. When you don't work on the causes of these accidents, the overloading, the rapid the boats, uh, the price of life jackets and such things, hmm? and putting up other alternatives. Had the ship this government took our, our sheep. They did not explain to us a sheep is not a, a piece of cloth you can fold. Where is our sheep? The sheep was taken away in 1996 after the first presidential elections under the NRM government. Government promised they would give us a sheep. In, it is now 27 years. We have never looked at that sheep. The lawmakers said the Department of Meteorology should be put to task for failing to monitor the movement of wind on the lake and alert travelers accordingly. I think that they should also have capacity to, to inform the islanders on radios that in such and such a time there is going to be a strong wind so that people prepare or they can wait because life, uh, you know, uh, every, you know, life is everything so that they can wait so that when they are loading they put in an allowance knowing that, no, we should load. The MPs asked government to subsidize on the life jackets in order to make them affordable. 100,000. They don't even have where to get food from as we speak. So you expect them to buy a life jacket of 100,000. Where are they going to get them? If you gave a life jacket to me, you find me not wearing it but tra traveling, then I'm fit for prosecution. They say the money that was allocated for the construction of rescue centers should be accounted for by respective government departments. So if these rescue centers were available, they could have the technology to detect or to monitor, like they say. So we spent money and we demand accountability of government. Where did the money for the rescue centers and the facilities that had to be deployed, where are they? On a monthly basis, these people are paid salary, but they are, there. they are not there. They are there in quotes. They are ghosts, actually. We have people who are being paid to man these rescue boats, but they are not there. The State Minister for Transport, Fred Bayamukama, says his government will amplify the implementation of laws regulating water transport on lakes. But we are coming up with a strategy, Uganda Police, Minister of Access and Trust and Minister of Heresy, to this on accidents. Number one, there is no any enforcement team regulating the type of canoes, the type of boats that are supposed to go on the lake, but we are coming up with that. Then we have the regulations in place, but we had not implemented them. We are coming to that, and we have procured a number of rescue boats, ambulance boats, which have started supplying, and more are coming. And once we handle that and comprehensively, we shall have a number of accidents. He says they intend to buy more vessels to ease the complicated and risky transport system on the lake. For example, there is no alternative road. People must pass on the water. We shall rectify it through the suppliers of the rescue boats, ambulance boats, and the intensifying operations on the type of the boats, the canoes which are supposed to be on the water. First and foremost is to 
ensure that there is number one very good regimes or standards that are set out on travel on the water and these standards we want now adherence adherence to those standards we have tried to uh, to uh, through through we had a big project in east africa that installed some surveillance stations eh, and some surveillance masks along along the lake victoria so that they can quickly help in rescue efforts the existing risk water transport system is used to transport people and goods on the expansive lake victoria jumakiria ntv